This article is sponsored by YM Cinema 65, the perfect gift for filmmakers, moviegoers, camera lovers, and cinephiles. Apple is not going to kill Final Cut Pro. Actually, due to the very slow development tempo of Final Cut Pro, many FCP editors, fans, and enthusiasts were concerned that the Final Cut Pro will end like Aperture, which means that the end of life is close. Luckily, Apple's FCP team confirmed that this is not the case. This is not a secret that FCP's R&D is moving like a turtle. Furthermore, when comparing it to the competitors, well, there's nothing to be compared, as Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, the main contenders to FCP, release every new and major update almost every month on the clock. Premiere Pro has its own dedicated product development beta cycle and roadmap, which pushes releases like hotcakes in order to boost R&D. And in the other corner, the Blackmagic team is working insanely fast and efficiently to push tons of new advanced features, making Resolve one of the best and most popular NLE out there. Just to think that Resolve was a pure color grading software a few years ago, and nobody believed it would become an NLE beast. Compared to these two, Apple's FCP is a turtle, a very slow turtle. Therefore, after waiting so long for an update that has been recently released, it got a dull feature set. That raised some questions regarding the future of FCP. Luckily, we have an update from the FCP Creative Summit held in Cupertino this year. In this summit, the FCP team answered the audience's questions regarding the future of FCP, the planned roadmap, new features, and FCP for iPad. The info is brought to you thanks to Richard Taylor, who is an Apple-certified Final Cut Pro trainer. This is the guy for any FCP questions you may have. Taylor has posted a live stream on the Facebook FCP page, summarizing the summit and throwing his input. Here are a few notes we took that have been mentioned in the live stream. One, Apple is not going to kill Final Cut Pro, nor it's not going to end like Aperture. Two, according to Apple, Final Cut Pro has a solid future. Three, Final Cut Pro constantly evolves and develops, but Apple has its own pace. Four, there's a consensus that the dev pace doesn't meet the market's demands. Five, Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Pro for iPad are under the same dev team. There's no dedicated team for Final Cut Pro for iPad. Six, Apple is very impressed with DaVinci Resolve as a professional NLE. Yeah, Apple has given a good word to Blackmagic. Seven, Apple did not discuss the Final Cut Pro roadmap and future feature set. Eight, there's a chance that Final Cut Pro desktop version will be subscription-based optional. Nine, Apple's high priority mission is to make Final Cut Pro more fast and stable. Apple will continue to develop and sharpen Final Cut Pro capabilities. However, it will take time. Do not expect the same pace tempo as the development sprints of Adobe and Blackmagic Resolve. The features will be pushed as hardware becomes more advanced, M2, M3, M4 chips, and so on. Nevertheless, the focus will be on speed and stability. Indeed, these are the most important factors of an NLE. Just a joyful thinking. Don't take it too seriously. What if Apple would buy Blackmagic? Then Final Cut Pro would be significantly upgraded with Resolve functionality. Let us know your thoughts on this.